When you're testifying, skip the details on how House convinced Cuddy. I don't think the people who got bumped down the transplant list need to know why. It didn't matter anyway. She next on the list? Yes. But she's AB negative. Very rare. How long could she go on like this? Probably another day or two. I'm donating my liver. Sam, we've talked about this. I'm a perfect match. Six out of six HLA proteins. How'd you get checked out so fast? I know a guy in medical testing, and I paid him to rush it. Sam bribed someone to rush his test? Wouldn't you? Someone's going to get the blame for what happened, so the more we spread it around, might as well. You said no surgeon would do a live donor transplant on such short notice. The house took care of that, too. Your patient's hardly clotting. Sub-Q vitamin K and fresh frozen plasma pre-op. Pretty risky. Well, that's why I came to the best transplant surgeon in the hospital. She's dead without you. Get her in this afternoon. Thank you very much. My pleasure. And this was right before you ran the marathon, I suppose? Was it the part where he warmly clasped my hands at thanks? Was that too much? What'd you do to him? The hospital lawyer asked me if I did something unethical. If I did, the last person I tell is the hospital lawyer, especially since she's got all Old Testament on me. You'll tell me. Oh, OK, then. One caveat. I moved past threesomes. I'm now into foursomes. If someone backs out, then you still got a threesome. If two people back out, you're still having sex. You'd be amazed. Even if three Anything people... you say is attorney client. So you can get advice about the bad, bad thing you did, knowing I'll be tortured because I can't tell a soul. Actually, it is kind of cool. Are you completely out of your mind? She's dying on her own. Why would I volunteer to be her execution? And I'd just be inviting a lawsuit from the brother no matter what. Five grand. And that's just anti-money. After the surgery, you get another 15. Although I warn you, that includes the tip. <laughs> I make 600 grand a year. You think I'm going to risk tanking my percentages for 20,000? It's tax-free. For the record, I hope the department takes you and Chase and drop kicks both your asses out the back door. Great. That means I don't have to bother welshing on the 15 grand I would have owed you. If you don't do the surgery, I'm going to tell your wife that you've been sleeping with a series of nurses, currently Nurse Cutler in radiology. Now, what's 600 grand divided by two? Last Christmas party, Nurse Cutler handed you one of those little hot dogs. And you didn't thank her. Well, that only happens when you're very, very intimate. That and the fact that you've been practically dancing around with your zipper open, used condoms stuck in your shoe. Your wife is apparently the only one who doesn't know. There's no way you'll tell her. Well, of course I won't. I'm much too cowardly. No, I'll just send an anonymous letter. Now, I've, uh, I got an OR booked for four this afternoon. Are you free? Hmm. Oh, and for the record, you are the worst transplant surgeon in this hospital. But unfortunately, you're the only one who's currently cheating on his wife. You bribed him, and then you blackmailed him? She'd have been dead in two days if I hadn't made Ayersman do the surgery. Leave the blackmail out of the story you tell the committee. I tried to leave it out of the story I told you. And then it was that incident in the parking lot. Do that. Don't do that. Help. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, please, oh. I didn't do it. I didn't do yeah. anything. No! Please. Apparently, someone sent an anonymous letter to his wife. You blackmailed Ayersman, he performed the surgery, and you ratted him out anyway? Doesn't seem fair, does it? You just can't control yourself, can you? No matter how stupid, how self-destructive. make this conversation easier, can we discard the fiction that we're talking about anything other than what I did to you? You're not mad because I broke into your psychiatrist's office. Yeah, I was thrilled about that. Okay, it was a lousy thing to do, but if what I found was that everything was all kittens and moonbeams in Markville, you'd be over it. No, I wouldn't. You're mad at me for letting you know what I did because you liked where things were going. And for that, I actually am sorry. Stupid. Let me tell you a story about a patient. A patient will call Fuzin. Mr. Chase, 
telling the committee about his dad? I don't know. I thought you were going to get him to sell me out. I wouldn't do that. Why not? You're my client, too. Yeah. And that's not going to change unless you leave this job. Or I do. So how do you deal with a coworker that you have feelings for, positive or negative? I don't want to end up like Chase. I don't want to get emotionally caught up and kill you. It's not all negative. Maybe you were right, Amy. Maybe that is the problem. So what do we do? I don't know. Dr. House? After considering the testimonial and documentary evidence, this ad hoc committee in the matter of Kayla McGinley has reached a decision. Dr. Chase, your error resulted in a patient's death. You also lied, both to your superiors and the patient's brother. But taking into account the mitigating factor of your father's death, we've decided not to revoke your privileges. You'll receive one week's suspension and a letter in your permanent file. Now, as for Dr. House, there is no evidence of a failure to supervise that would lead to disciplinary action. And yet, there is enough in the record to be very troubled by your conduct, including certain allegations of blackmail from members of the transplant team and by your general refusal to meet with your patients. It should be noted that your patient's cancer was diagnosed as a result of a direct physical examination. Not of the patient. I met the brother. I never met her. You want me to go to a family reunion every time I take out a patient? The committee has determined that for no less than one month, Dr. House will have his practice supervised by another doctor to be designated by Dr. Cuddy. This proceeding is adjourned. Did you know this was coming? They contacted me about an hour ago. What's happening to Chase? Now you're fired. No, he's not. Dr. House, meet your new boss. Guess I'm his best friend now.